Welcome to the GEMDS video training series. In this video, I will show you how to configure two Orbit MCDR4G units to pass data through a UDP terminal server. Shown here are two units both being managed through their serial port interface. Log into the device, then issue this command to display the unit's IP address. I'm configuring my terminal server using the bridge's IP configuration. Repeat this on the second unit to obtain its IP address as well. Enter configuration mode by typing configure. The following command will configure the COM1 port to be a UDP terminal server. It will be listening on port 30011 and sending any data on its COM1 port to the IP address of my second unit and port 30012. At any time, pressing the tab key will complete your command and provides you with helpful information on what to enter. Repeat this on the second unit. Commit the configuration when ready. The device will immediately be put into terminal server mode. To restore serial management, press the plus sign three times in half second intervals. I'll now test my terminal server functionality by typing characters on COM1 and expecting them to display on COM2. I'll repeat this process in the other direction. Now I can set up a polar. The bottom polar will be simulating a slave device off of COM2, while the top polar is the master serial device off COM1. As shown, polling is fully functional over the terminal server. Now I'll show you how to do this using the web GUI. Log in as the administrator and click Services on the left. Then click Serial. Click on Basic Config and then click on Terminal Server. Click on Add, and then select the serial port you wish to use for the terminal server. Again, press Add. Click on the Choices box and select UDP. Then check off UDP and confirm the mode is set to Point to Point. Configure the remaining parameters to match your system. Local listening port, remote IP address, and remote listening port. When done, click on Finished, and then click Save. Repeat this process on the other unit, and remember to use the correct IP address and ports. I hope this video was helpful for you. And for additional information, please visit our website at www.gemds.com.